Welcome back to Back to the Future of the Game, Volume 4. Last time, you remember, well, we just got to Doc's lab. After figuring out what we need to do here, as a proof of concept, we were just checking out how the thing works and what we need to do to make Doc into something a little more than a model citizen. It's key because, well, we can't move on without actually doing so. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to do the following. We are going to do... We're actually going to make him into a degenerate criminal. So, let's do this again. Switch on. And do this. Since um that basically says, yeah, you don't you just don't like her. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't like her too. <laughs> so next thing we do. John Wilkes Booth. We'll make it easier on ourselves. Stupot. Careful, don't let all the flavor escape. Next. Yeah, we're talking about this, so, um... Ew. There. So that's a no for, um, Parker. Next. That's a tannin. A little more of that chicken. Mm hmm. Mm hmm, that smells good. And then, after that, next. He looks so weird. Ooh. 
You have to do it twice, so that's the reason why. You know... Oh, come on. Someone like that? Come on. <sighs> Flavor vision, y'all. Mm, that smells good. So this should get us what we need. Hey Emmett, I think your mind map test is broken. Oh, oh that switch just keeps shorting out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Did that just poof in his head? So this should do what needs to be done. Yes! Bingo. Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. So next thing we do is um since we did that the proper way. Yeah, improper first and proper. Yeah. That's how it's always gonna be. You know, the proof of concept. The next thing we're going to do is, um, we're going to prove how bad Re Emmett really is by, um, being, um, faithful. So, um, yeah, let's live. Hey, Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Well, you'll be fine. And we're back here. House tricks. <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Uh, to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? I certainly do. Uh, at the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. So... Yeah, want to help me make Emma jealous? Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No, Dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. 
see, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Yeah. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil aunt, ain't ya? I know. Sometimes a guy's got to resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I, I play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni News of Progress. Um. Come on now. I mean, you don't want to make a scene, but you know. Mm. See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. So, that's what we are going to do. We are going to just drop a stinkeroo on. On, um, getting, uh, can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. Excuse us a moment. It's like this. Well, I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently, they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the news of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. Oh. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it, allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. Oh, shit. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that news. What? Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Oh. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? I you feel like he's about to snap oh, on her. people are impossible. So it feels like Artie's about to snap on her. So, you want to get Trixie fired. get Trixie fired. One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. Oh. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? But try telling it to this poor sap. She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. You're no and better. Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. So wait, you'd get her fired in Harvey. So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. Can you get her fired in a heartbreak? So you wouldn't hesitate to get Trixie fired from her job? If I had the goods on her. She's obviously got her employer completely bamboozled. Mm -hmm. The only way to snap him out of his spell would be to show him something really shocking. That's all the questions I got. 
Very well, then. And lo and behold, you see that guy over there? That's Q Ball from episode one. I know. There he is. Right there. See? That's cue ball. <clears throat> well. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was going to say the same thing. Well, will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Because little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You don't say. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curls your socks. You do really? Know. Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like a stink don't smell, it just, well, it just cheeses me off, you know? Does anybody actually say that? So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? And can we just see it? Like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Well, um... You know what's funny? It all happened. Well, under the influence of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh! All right, Junior, you win. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Whoa! Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. Mm -hmm. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Good lord. I um, have one. I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Only because I'll trust you. <laughs> But, um, uh, I'm just curious, but, um, well, um, what's your teeth, dude? Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. No, seriously, dude. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? Nothing. Nothing. I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out of the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. That line was cut. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. Calling the cow black, huh? Anyway! <laughs> you know that picture? Well,
I gotta show this. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir, Mr. McKnight! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent your I rally... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Thank you. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... Mm. The winsome wench of Winnipeg. The Her winsome past doesn't winsome matter to Winnipeg. That pick though. Trixie? <laughs> what is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... Oh. I'm being fired? Are you a fire in me? I don't want to. That's cold-blooded, though. Hey, take it back. What? Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Ugh. I even hate her more just because of that. Let's talk. Um... Well, um, th 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 there you go. <clears throat> yeah, we 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 need to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely need to talk. Cause um, yeah. Trixie. And I ain't gonna memorize no lines, but I was in this play once. The Palamate Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Of course. First, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours in it. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. He does. Then bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Watch the fur fly. Oh, oh, yeah. So we got, we need a diamond of some sort. We already got the photo album. So all we need to get is the, um, a diamond. So let's see. What I'm looking at, where I should be going to, is that of the future. So, nice rock, but I can't reach it. Of course, it says go to the DeLorean click on it. Really? Wonder what it said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Nope, no green light yet. Nope, no green light yet. But 
but we might as well go back over there. Nice rock, but I can't reach it. Well, here. The third button from the left. So let's see. Third button from the left. Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning population. Tired of waiting for Mother Nature to do her job? Just press a button. Presto! An artificial rainstorm drenches the valley's thirsty crops. Now since we're here, we might as well just leave this place and go to the past like so. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermine. At least they're going to a good cause. Tighten this tar. Well, we got something for that. I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Hmm. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. Well, that means one thing. Hi, Trix. Oh, hi, kiddo. 
say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Yes! Well, it would be fun to watch, but it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamonds? You and your friend's photo album? Two out of three. Oh, yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I'm itching to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. So am I. I want to see this, too. How's it hanging, Emmett? No, 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 no time for small talk. I've got machines to tune and mind maps to sort. Well, I got a question about this, Emmett. Um, what's this supposed to be? Hey, Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally P.O.'d. Wrong. What? What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote. So, I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa. What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Cleaning fluid. Hey, you'll make a fortune. Not any time soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inherent instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey, God, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, <laughs> it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moths. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. That gives you an idea. So, yeah, yeah, he's, he's an absolute slop. <laughs> he, he's so, 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 so. I mean that makes a whole whole lot of sense, so that cleanser doesn't seem very portable. No, nope. it is. But this is a perfume bottle? Yes. But no. What? I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all purpose cleanser. Uh -huh. With a little luck, this should last me through the next twelve hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth destroying enzymes. Clever. You know what that means? What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I thought I saw a tarantula. Hmm. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. You're crazy? Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So, why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I can go with I'm that. not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Oh. Damn it. Gee, no. No. I'm going to ask Edna to marry me. Right now. Oh, God, no. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. Oh. You're welcome. Yeah. Did, and she, out. We, we're just going out. Bye. I, I'll see you later. But we got what we need. For this diorama to work properly. <laughs> Mr. Caveman, prepare to be cleansed.
It's a good thing I did this before I missed 12 hour time limit where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? And there you go. So now we have all three of the items that we need. So now that we've done that, well, let's even mess it up more. By doing this. It'll be safe in there. We hope. And by doing so, we can do this. And it's formula. Still as good as new. Never know when I might need to get some sticky substances out of some clothes. Or something worse. Well, actually, no. Let's do this right by doing this. Get the spray bottle. Put it here. Let's see. The light screen. There we that go. means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. And then after that, We have to go tell Doc about it. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometer analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the system's checked out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got a lot of short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. Thus, that gives him some time to kill. Bingo. Ouch. Frankly, it's starting to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. 
Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Well, um... Well, we should get that spray bottle. Doc's trip aged the formula a few hours. Not enough to turn it to acid, though. No, but it did its job. You sped up time, so therefore, hey, you only got three hours instead of instead of six. Three more hours pass. Oh, guess what? Mm -hmm. Nine. So the one thing we need to do is, um... Head back. And Sonny, what? I'm at my wit's end. My portable anti-stick anti-stain formula has disappeared. Can't you make more? There's no time. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up soon. Good. There's no way in God's green earth that I'm heading to that expo without it. So, we gotta go back. <laughs> and we have to do the following again. So that way, we talk to Doc again. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Have you now? And now... Yeah, any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. What about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. Mm -hmm. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great. Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available until the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? Nine but years. there may be enough a solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm storing it, then you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? That's what's about that. The lab! Ah! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the Gloria. 
Well, at least that's what we need to do. Age to perfection. And back to the lab. Hey, Emmett, I'm back. Ow, oh, there. Oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, my. You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. I know, right? Oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to Canoodling keep my mind fresh. fresh. That's what you Hi, told? Oh, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Um, well, um... Uh, Carl Sagan wants to talk to you. <clears throat> Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? Mm. Well, it doesn't matter so long. Well, actually, it is about the speakeasy arsonist. He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. You do that. Will you be all right without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. I see that. Don't I wish. <laughs> so, um... I am it. I I I got what you want, man. Here, man. I I found this. Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick anti-stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash. That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh, well. Are you going to spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate. Really dirty? Blend. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Now all I have to do is convince Edna that Emma's a degenerate criminal who's stepping out on her. So you know what? This means one thing. We're hitting end game. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop here. And in the next part, we put an end to episode four. We're doing a great job. We're doing a service to the community. We think. More of Back to the Future the game. Right after this, thanks so much for watching.